All right, thanks for watching this video. This is my inflation kit. Everything is carried in a crash pad utility bag. It's a really nice canvas bag on the outside. And on the inside, it's lined with this, um, uh, this PVC liner for weather protection. But as you can see in my case, I have my air compressor. I have all of my inflation accessories. And then I also have a, an extension cord. So pulling it out, so you can see what the case looks like. Inflation case, here's my cords, and here is my compressor. Uh, I've been using this compressor for uh, two years now um, on many off-road trips, and it's seen actually double duty cycle because I will oftentimes fill up my tires and then I will move to other people in our convoy and I'll be, I'll be able to fill up actually two vehicles by the time somebody's finishing just a single vehicle and airing up their tires. Um, overview of the, of the compressor. It is a quad piston compressor. It's rated at uh, 400 uh, liters per minute, which equates to about 14 CFM. Um, and uh, it's probably the fastest compressor, portable compressor I've ever had. I've done a few modifications to it. If you look on the back side, um, I did add Milton high flow connectors. Um, I wasn't happy with the clips on it and actually the cord wasn't long enough for my lifted vehicle. So I put an Anderson plug on it and then I went to Harbor Freight and I picked up a, a pair of jumper cables which have some uh, much, higher quality much higher quality clamps and then I put an Anderson plug on the other side of that and now I have about 16 feet of cable. So uh, while I'm air airing up my tires, if I'm actually done, then I can actually move over to a second vehicle as well. And I can, um, I can air up their tires. Um, this is my inflation case, uh, ARB. Um, it actually carries uh, two sets of hoses. Um, I have two digital inflators as well. There's one and there's two. Um, I carry my valve core removal inflation device, my stons, and then also a blowgun uh, as well in the kit. Um, the inflation, uh, the inflator, that's also been upgraded with Milton high flow uh, valves or fittings. And then also the ARB hoses, they have also been upgraded with high flow connectors as well. Um, I am, we're gonna be testing the inflator later on. And I actually did some tests back to back with and without the high flow inflators. And I dropped, I would say about 20 seconds of my inflation time just by changing the connectors. And then this valve core removal tool, you'll see actually me using it later on in the video, but it connects directly to my inflator. And then this connects to the tire and this actually removes the valve core so you can actually get significantly more uh, flow as well. And this probably dropped another like 22, 25 seconds off my inflation time. So just by changing the fittings and by using this tool, I'm saving a minute per tire, which is about you know four minutes in total on inflation time, which is actually pretty huge. Um, the nice thing about this little kit is you can use it, but if you don't wanna use it actually for inflation, uh, then you can just take it off immediately and you connect this directly to the tire. Um, when this is connected to the inflator, then the inflator also becomes a deflation device as well. So this can be connected to the tire, and then I open up the valve and I deflate it, and then I can actually see what my pressures are. And, I, and we'll show you that later on in the video. Um, but that's my overall kit. Reason why I carry two hoses and two inflators is because I can inflate two tires at once. Um, you know, again, I've tested the system out and the system is actually really, really, uh, it's, it's really, really fast. Um, I do have adjustable, I can adjust uh, what the pressure settings are, the pressure cutoff switch. Um, in the video, you'll also see on the left-hand side, it actually shows me what my target pressure is. And then on the right-hand side, it shows me what my line pressure is. So if I didn't, if I didn't have an inflation tool, I can actually use the uh, cutoff switch on the, uh, on the inflator itself. And then I have these little tools that connect directly to my hose line. It connects to my hose line. I connect this to the valve stem and I don't have a gauge, but I am actually using the line pressure gauge that's on the inflation tool. And that's in case my batteries ever run out on my ARB inflator. I have a, 
I have a backup system as well. Um, cost for this unit. Uh, the unit is like $195, so just called around 200 bucks. But they don't actually carry it in the US. I actually had to have it shipped from overseas and brought it in here. There's a few retailers that carry it that I've seen. One in the United Arab Emirates, and then there's another guy as well in Germany. He carries these and he will import these into the US. Uh, that's who I bought it from. But I, I've used this several times and um, I'm super happy with, uh, with the results. So here you can see I have my uh, inflator and then I have the Milton valve core inflation removal tool that's connected to the inflator and we're going to use this as a deflation device. The tire size is a 305 6518 so that's basically a uh, 33 and a half by 12 inch uh, tire. going to be setting the target pressure to 15 psi from 40. One minute and 16 seconds, 40 PSI all the way down to 15 PSI. Now we're going to hook up the airline and we're going to test how fast it takes to inflate the tires. From 15 PSI to 35 PSI and then all the way up to 40 PSI. So before starting the test I just wanted to show what the screen looks like. Uh, on the left hand side of the screen you'll see 120 PSI is my target pressure and then 122 PSI is the line pressure and I can adjust that pressure uh, up or down. And here we can see I went from 15 PSI to 35 PSI in 1 minute and 6 seconds. And let's continue the test and go all the way up to 40 PSI from 35. It's worth noting that uh, activating and deactivating the inflator, it does tend to slow down the compressor. Uh, in prior tests, I was able to go up to 42 PSI in about 58 seconds. Uh, but with this test, 15 to 40 PSI, I am at 1 minute and 22 seconds. All right, ultimate test. I connected my Craftsman half-inch impact, and we're going to see if this uh, tankless air compressor can uh, remove uh, these lug bolts uh, that are torqued down to 140 foot-pounds. one. There's two. And there's a third one. All right, and that concludes the test. Uh, 15 PSI to 35 PSI, that's a minute and six seconds. Uh, 15 PSI to 40 PSI, it's a minute and 22 seconds, uh, and I can use an impact gun uh, without a tank with this compressor. So, uh, very, very impressed, and uh, thank you guys for watching.
surprise, surprise, bonus footage at the end. Uh, if you recall, I mentioned that in previous tests, the compressor has operated significantly faster. And I think that's because I was uh, pulling uh, and releasing the trigger a lot less. Uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and test this out on camera, unedited, uh, from 15 to 40 PSI, and we'll see how quickly we can go. That's 37 PSI in 50 seconds. And that is 15 PSI to 41 PSI in exactly one minute. That's fast.